<laughs> well, uh, you know, we are very happy today you you share your experience with with us about uncle's condition. Uh, first of all, can you uh, make a brief introduction about yourself, which country you come from, something like that? Okay. Um, my name is Jennifer. Mm -hmm. um, uh, this is my father. His uh, name is Kayo. Um, we are from Papua New Guinea. Okay, you uh, you know you come to China mm -hmm. for, for mm -hmm. uncle's uh, kidney mm. disease, right? Uncle is suffering from kidney disease, yes. right? So before you came to China, how about uncle's condition? Um, before we came to China, um, uncle, he was told back in our own country that his, he had, um, his kidneys had failed. Uh -huh. And uh, he was uh, recommended to have a fistula done in uh, Manila. Mm -hmm. And uh, we went to Manila, and the doctor in Manila uh, knows about uh, the level of care back in our country, so he suggested that a uh, kidney transplant would be better. Uh, from there, we went back to PNG to uh, look for a donor. And then we came across the problem of uh, finding a suitable donor. Uh, and then um, through uh, so some... Through, through somebody, through sample, sample you know our hospital, right? That's right. Um, uh, through SIPO, we heard about your hospital, the hospital here. Mm -hmm. And um, SIPO also told us uh, about his father-in-law who came here and how he has improved and that's when we started looking into um, coming here so um, so before you came to china uh, the, the local doctor only told you uh, that uh, dialysis or kidney transplant that's the only solution for uncle's condition right that's right uh -huh. And uh, what 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 exactly attracted you to come to our hospital? Uh, because it provided something other than um, the transplant and uh, dialysis. Um, it gave us hope that there was something else apart from the two dialysis and uh, kidney transplant that was offered in most of the other hospitals back in uh, Manila, also in Singapore, that's where most of our uh, people who are back in our country who have kidney disease, they, uh, the doctors, the local doctors recommend them to go there mm -hmm. to do transplant and uh, getting the fistula done. Mm -hmm. Okay, so before uncle and you came to our hospital, how about uncle's condition, his creatine level, uh, his any discomforts? Yes, uh, uncle's uh, condition that uh, because we, uh, we the level of care back in our country for dialysis patient is not that good. Uh, uncle's condition had worsened. So um, by the time we came here, mm -hmm. his creatine level had gone up to one thousand one hundred. Mm -hmm. So. And um, also at that time, how much urine output did Uncle have? Uncle, do you still remember how much urine output do you have at that time? Uh, hardly any. Hardly any. I think below 100 or below 100 or 200. Just below that level. Okay. Near 200 level of meal. Okay, Uncle. Also, before you came to China, uh, do you have any discomfort? Did you have any discomforts? Uh, yes, he had discomforts like um, when he stood up suddenly mm -hmm. from sitting down or lying down when he stood up, mm -hmm. sat up, mm -hmm. he had, um, his head was spinning. So he had to get up very slowly and hold on to things. Mm -hmm. um, and um, he also felt nausea mm -hmm. uh, and um, his appetite wasn't that good. Mm -hmm. So he lost a lot of weight. 
before then. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you already uh, received the treatment for 20 days, right? Almost 20 days, right? Mm -hmm. So, Uncle, how is your feeling now? Can you walk for a long time? Yeah, I'm, I'm glad I came to China. Uh -huh. Because uh, what I could not do before, I'm able to do now. Like walking, uh, walking up, getting up, Quickly. without, without help. Uh -huh. I mean, Uncle, before you came to China, how much you can eat? How much you could eat for dinner, for, for meals each time? Uh, hardly, hardly anything. I mean, when I was trying to eat, uh, I felt like vomiting. Uh -huh. So I didn't like how food was an enemy to me. Uh -huh. But now, How about now? No, very good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and uh, I heard from the nurse that you can also work a long time now. You 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 also like to go to the park. Yeah, yeah. For work run. Uh, yeah. Now I feel like walking around the streets and park, but because the uh, treatments are near, <laughs> I cannot go. Um. Yeah, yeah. Okay, uncle. So, how much your urine output do you have now? Now my urine has increased to uh, a, a big improvement, up to eight hundred fifty ml the other day. Okay. So it's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, you know. Uh, that's the normal people for normal people the the normal urine output for one day for 24 hours is more or less than 1000 milliliter uh, now so that means your urine output before you came to china and after you came to china has changed a lot increased a lot from below 100 milliliter to 1000 almost uh, 850 Milliliter, right? Okay. Is that right, Uncle? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> okay. Oh, Uncle, after the 20 days treatment, do you have a general idea about our treatment now? What you, what did you receive after you arrived in China? What? When I, when I, I'm, I'm getting a lot of. Uh, new treatments that I've never seen in my country, like uh, osma, osma, osma therapy, therapy. Mm -hmm. uh, food bath. Uh, uh, yeah, 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 this needle. <laughs> yeah, the name is acupuncture. Yeah. And then I think a lot of medicines, medicines that don't have uh, side effects, I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm getting a lot of those ones and I'm happy. I'm, I'm glad that I came to China. Mm -hmm. But Uncle, you know, that's only part of our treatment. Uh, we also have other treatment. Do you, do, did you ever see? You know, that's the, uh, that's, uh, depends on the patient's specific condition. You know, uh, we also had the medicine bath. Did you ever heard about that? Yeah, we heard about medicine, but but uh, he cannot <laughs> currently take that because of his uh, catheter. How about enema? And <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. Have you ever heard of, heard that in your country before? No, no, no. no. no? A lot of these ones I've never heard of it, and I've never seen. Uh -huh. Okay, you know, actually, the enema and osmotherapy and the, the acupuncture, also food baths and the medicine baths, that's all the uh, comprehensive, part of our comprehensive treatment in, in Shijiazhuang Kidney Disease Hospital. Well, time flies, right? Uh, almost 20 days went by. So I know that, as far as I know that uh, during the treatment, Jennifer, your daughter, also became sick, right? So. How do you think about the service and the, the, the treatment here? The service and the treatment here are very good. Um, especially to the nurses and the doctors. They are 
ever present to answer to any um, questions that we might have, uh, assist us in any, anything that we might need. So that's the big plus. Mm -hmm. um, whereas uh, maybe I don't have uh, too much experience in other countries, but back in my country, it's um, it's difficult trying to uh, get the kind of attention like uh, you have nurses and doctors surrounding you. Uh, you know, according to your knowledge, you said that in your country, you never. You, you never came across this condition before, right? I mean, the doctors, uh, the doctors and the nurses, they, they never take such good care of you, patients and the family members, mm -hmm. right? You know, actually, in here, in China, uh, especially in our hospital, it's very common that uh, we nurse and the doctors, they all take good care of the patients and also they treat the patients not only as the patients but what's your feeling so is that uh is there any feeling that you feel like saying oh yeah this you you don't miss home everybody is around and um, it's it's good it's good that uh, a lot of you, you have a lot of nurses around you can uh, chat with them and you're not left alone <laughs> okay <laughs> you know we just want to uh, want to let the patients and the family members they they feel like at home mm -hmm. and also we we treat the patients not only as the patient but also as one of our family members do you have that feeling that, that's that's correct um, we feel that um, it's, it's one, um, one big extended family where um, even though we are far from home, we don't really miss home because this feels like it has the feeling of a family home atmosphere. Mm -hmm. So after such a long time communication and uh, uh, we, we, every, every day we see each other and we spend uh, happy time together. So do you have any good suggestions or advices for our service or our treatment? Um, we are very satisfied with what we've seen so far. Uh, the only thing is that, um, you know, it would be good if more people know about this hospital. Because back in my country, um, I don't think people know people know about this hospital. Um, we wouldn't have known to until uh, one of our relatives told us about it. Otherwise, we would have gone straight to um, Philippines, done a fistula there and got back home with the problem still there. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you can get your hospital out there in the open and maybe more people can know about this hospital, the treatments you can provide and give them an option so if they can, um, uh, if, if they know about this I think more people will come here. So uh, at the end, near the end of the video, do you have any uh, words for the patients who, who also want to come to this hospital. Would you like to say that? Uncle, do you have some words for the patients who are willing to come to the hospital but still have some thoughts about the hospital? Do you have some words for them? Yeah, well, they, they might have uh, some doubts because uh, they've never heard about this, this hospital. And uh, generally, yeah, when, when, when I'm in, in my country, we don't talk about uh, China. No one knows about China. But uh, well, since I came, I think very good, good treatments, good people, good hospital. But uh, the, the problem is that they don't know. The people back home, they don't know about this place, mm -hmm. so they have some, some doubt. Mm -hmm. Because uh, they say, 
It's only because they don't know about the hospital and the country. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, well, uh, at the end of the, the video, uh, on behalf of, uh, of all the staff of the International Department, we sincerely hope that Uncle can recover soon. Thank you. Thank you.